Hello everybody and welcome back to Breath of Death 7. In the last episode we made it here to the subway. And in this episode we're going to continue on through the subway I guess. Alright, so let's go. I finished off all the battles because that's what I do. And we're just going to go on through here. I don't think there's a whole lot here. It's just like a big up and down like zigzag kind of area. So we're just going to go on through. Not a whole lot down here. Um, there was a new enemy. This guy, I think. This toddler dro toddler gone. Whatever the hell it is. So that's pretty cool. He's not really that much different. Little, little tough, but nothing we can't handle. So we'll just take care of them. Or maybe they're a lot tougher than they look. Nah. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so, that's that. And I think that was the only new guy that I found while I was fighting down here, so... Eh, there might be more, there might not be. That's the staircase, that's where we want to be going. But unfortunately, we have to go all the way around to do it. Alright, so now we're almost there, and we will go up these stairs, wherever they are. Why are you so far away, you stairs? Okay, let's go up these stairs, and we're on to the other side. The other side of what, you might ask? I don't know. I just felt like saying that. So, let's continue on. There's probably a treasure chest somewhere around here, and I'm kind of trying to keep an eye out for it. It's over there, I bet. So, let's go this way. Uh, there's a treasure chest. But I can't seem to get there. Let's go over this way first. Alright, alright, alright. Nope. I thought there was a trust. A trust? A trust right over here. But I was wrong. Because I don't know what a trust is. Uh, alright, well, that was fun. This is unfortunate. Alright, well, let's go this way then. <laughs> I did see that one chest, so there's got to be something in it, right? Of course, it's probably something amazing. Like, one, one, one gold? One gold. Totally worth it! Let's go! Let's continue on! One gold, what? What the? <laughs> One gold, everybody! <sighs> Alright, there is a chest up here. That's... that's good. Let's see, is it... is it another gold? It's a magic ring! Hooray! That's way better than one gold. Is that for Sarah? It raises magic plus 50 and vitality plus 50 and max MP plus 50. As opposed to the agility and vitality from before. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I do like agility. Agility de decides when she attacks, but whatever. She'll be fine. So let's go back. We were almost to where we needed to be, I believe. So... Let's go over there. And just go on right up through here. And look, yet another ladder. Well, I guess the other ones were stairs, but... Oh, this is actually what I was talking about last episode. Damn it, I was just... I was just a little too early. Alright, according to Article 121.9... rather of the RPG making code, all RPGs are required by law to include at least one sewer dungeon or face severe legal penalties. So here you go, one sewer dungeon. And this actually has a battle counter of its own. This is what I was going to talk about, but I was wrong, I was too early. So this area has 15 battles and uh, from what I remember, they're a little tough, but 
Yeah, whatever. All new areas are a little tough, right? There are... I think... I think there's one treasure chest down here. There might be two. Uh, but I don't remember where or how to get them. Or even how to get through here. So, let's fight our first battle. The Ooze Dragon. The Ooze Dragon is pretty tough. He's got 6,500 health. Um... Let's just, let's just, uh, do that, I guess. And you can do that. And you can do that. And you can do that. <clears throat> and that should have taken off a nice little chunk of health from him. Yep, that was pretty good. So now I'm just going to attack. Which is a terrible idea, because now Lita's dead. And we will just heal her, so who cares. And keep attacking. Alright, and now that he is down pretty far, we're just gonna use Death Blow, and he will die. You are dead, Ooze Dragon. Alright, and Dem leveled up. That's fantastic. Reign of Fire. Uh, this is that every turn attack that I have already. It's just a, going to make it a little bit stronger, it looks like. Or we can make my attack stance a little bit better. Both of which are not really that helpful. The only reason I like to use Reign of Fire is because it adds, I think, I think, I could be wrong, but I think it adds one to your combo count every turn. Um, so that's why I use it, but I don't really care either way. Oh look, Sarah also leveled up. That is Magic and Vitality or Agility and Will. Hmm. <laughs> Since I took off her agility ring, I'm going to give her the agility, I think. Or her speed ring, rather, whatever it was called. Ah, oh, there's that chest. There's one of them. That's unfortunate, because I don't know how to get there. And guess what? It's not that way. <laughs> so I guess we'll kind of try and keep that area in mind. Uh, yep, uh, uh, I guess we have to come from over there. All right, so let's actually go this way. Nope, just kidding. Not that way. Let's go this way. Oh, this place is uh, horrible. We've only fought one battle. Alright, well, let's fight another one. More of the toddler guns. These guys weren't too terrible. They have a, a decent amount of health, so I guess they could be tough, but they are not. So let's just kill them all dead. And we will move on. So let's move on. Hopefully, I will find the way to get over to that chest. I can't imagine it's anything super important, but we are getting towards near the end of the game, so it might actually be something useful. And it looks like I did in fact find the way to get there, because it looks like we have to go over this way. So let's find out. Oh no, another ooze dragon. These guys are actually a pain in my ass, because I don't like to use magic, per se. And, uh, this forces me to. <laughs> huh. Yeah, well, well let's use that. Why, why didn't we use that the first time? Alright, so we'll just do basically what we did before. And again, what we did before. He killed Sarah this time, which is unfortunate because she is our healer. But that's okay, because we can still just get rid of him. And that made Lita level up. That's fantastic. Avalanche, we could level up Avalanche a little bit, which is nice, because Avalanche is getting pretty weak. Or we can... wait, what? Oh, combo boost and break. Why, why would we ever choose that one? 15% chance of death. Like, this one seems better in every way. Weird. There's probably some drawback, who cares, whatever. Death, I mean, whatever. Yeah, right? Alright, so, it's a gold suit. That's actually pretty good, because I think... <laughs> isn't that what we were going to buy for 60000 Nah, maybe. So there we go, that's just a little bit better for Eric. So, that saves us money, I guess? Maybe, maybe not, who cares? Um, so hopefully we can find our way out of this place now, um, 
but maybe we cannot. I'm not sure yet. Uh, grr. Oh no, Lita and Sarah are dead. That would have been terrible if we lost, but we didn't, so let's continue on and... Uh, for a second there, I thought that was another chest. That was just the chest that I already opened. Now, I'm an idiot. Let's continue over this way. I don't know where we're going, but hopefully we are going the right way, because I hate this level. <laughs> um, Let's go this way. Yay, more of these guys. Let's just kill them. Die, 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 die. Thank you. All right. It's areas like these that make this very difficult for me because I have nothing to talk about and it's just a long area. Uh, what the hell is that, you might ask? Well, I don't know, so don't ask me. It's got to be something for someone. Yes, something for someone. That is what I said, and that is what I stand by. Uh, it is a staff, actually. It's not what I expected. Um, well, it's just better in every way, so there we go. Good job, Sarah. So, good thing we came this way, because that was a pretty decent weapon. And unfortunately, it was the wrong way. So, we're going to go back. I'm pretty sure going down there just leads back to the beginning, so we are going to just backtrack the way we came. And fight yet another ooze dragon. These guys are insufferable. And... Whatever, we'll, we'll get him. Stupid dragon. Gosh. <laughs> Um, nine battles left. Well, getting lost, I guess, was kind of good, because it's gotten us to get through a decent portion of these battles. Because, uh, I don't think I'm going to come back through here to finish off these battles at all, because I don't want to. I want to get through this area, and I want to move on. Ugh, more of these guys. I did learn at one point, I don't know if I showed it off. Oh yeah, I did just show it off recently. Blade Dance, it hits random enemies, so it's kind of cool. Um, it could be helpful in situations where there are a ton of enemies, or even just one of an enemy. It's it's pretty good either way. Um, we also learned... No, that's not what I wanted. This Avalanche, so let's try it. Yeah, whatever. That was pretty good. Very, very good. Alright, so let's continue on. Hopefully, I think we're going to have to go down this bottom path here. And if not, then I have no idea where to go. But that should not surprise you at all. Ugh. <laughs> Ah, oh, these guys are terrible. Die. Alright. They're not that bad. They're, they just take a while. And you can get unlucky and die, I'm sure, but... I haven't had it happen, and I hope never to have it happen. So let's continue on this way. This looks promising, right? This should be the way to go, right? Oh god, new enemies. Uh, what are these? Mutants. Uh, Alright, we'll have everybody use a hit all attack. Uh, he also has one. What was it called for? Yes. So there we go, that was easy. You want to take out large groups, that's the way to do it. And look, he leveled up. Um, ooh, regenerate all allies. That's fantastic. 
then that's what we're going to go with. The extra stats would have been nice, but that all allies thing is fantastic. So I don't have to use it four times. Because I think it's a combo break, if I remember correctly. So let's go ahead and save it here and move on a little bit. I have a little bit of time, I think. So let's come up here. What is up here? Oh yeah, also there are no battles up here. This is part of the uh, not sewer area. So yep, there's this house. Let's go into this house. Or building here, I guess. Doesn't quite look like a house. What is this? It's not moving, except it moved to tell us that. It is also not moving, so I guess it doesn't move. What are these? Are these the crystals we were looking for? Probably. Let's go out the door. Wait, we haven't taken the crystals yet. Oh, of course. <laughs> How could I be so silly? All right, there they are, the crystals. They are almost as beautiful as you, my dear Lebrains. You have acquired the crystals. That was easy. Turret. Oh, no. Warning. Attempts to steal crystals in progress. Activate. Dis da 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 da. Die. That's what he said, I think. So there are two turrets here. And they are fairly tough, 9,500 HP, and they can hurt you a lot, I'm sure. So we're going to start off with Rain of Fire, as always. We will also start with... Hmm... We're going to go with Freeze Blast on you. And you... will call Bats. Yes, yes. And you will use Regenerate. Luckily, we just learned this right before the boss battle. How convenient! Maybe I planned that, but I didn't, so let's continue on. Alright, so... Everybody's going to heal after every battle, and the fire is going to attack them, and the bats are going to attack them at the end of every round. So that's very nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what we always do in these situations, which is... Uh, I'm actually, I'm not going to use Fire Flurry, it will give me one extra attack, I'm actually going to use Blade Dance. And then I will have... Uh, you use Freeze Blast until we need healing, and you will use... Hmm, can't decide if I want to focus on one enemy or if I want to try to kill them both at the same time. Mm. We'll focus on one. <laughs> it's probably a bad idea. Ugh. That was unfortunate. Alright, so... How much damage do we do with that attack? Uh, not a lot. So, uh, that sucks, but we'll just continue doing it. I'm actually going to use... Oh yes, that's a combo break. Interesting. Is that better than death blow, I wonder? Uh, I don't know. Alright, so I think I'm going to heal Lita this turn. Death Blow. No, I don't think it is better than Death Blow. It might be. But I don't think so. 3,000 health left. I'm going to use Death Blow this turn. I'm also going to use Heal on Lita. And I'm going to let Lita use that, and you will not use that. What are you doing? Alright, so that is one of them down. For some reason I have a feeling that that was a bad idea. But, whatever, let's continue on and attack the last one here. Uh, you know what? Heal yourself. We don't need the healer dying. That would be bad. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> it got more power or something from the other one. I don't remember. I don't know what it means, but I'm sure it's a little tougher now, so. We're just gonna have to deal with that. Killed Sarah. That's like the worst person he could have killed. Um, alright. Luckily, oh no! <laughs> okay, well, that ruins that idea. Um, alright, let's try Dark Blast then. It's not nearly as tough, but I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. Huh, <laughs> that sucks. That sucks a lot. Woo! That was terrifying. You could have used potions and stuff, but whatever. We did it! The turret is defeated. And we get some levels up. That's pretty great. We'll go with that one. Uh, holy, that's pretty good. Or Solar Flare, which hits everyone but is not as good. Hmm. I think we'll go with Holy Blast. And all stats. And... <laughs> Magic. No. <laughs> Plus one to hits. So that's great. Whew! We made it! So, what now? Yeah, what next, narrator? You need to take the crystals to a secret lab in the desert wasteland west of Motherbound. There, all will be revealed. Thanks for the tip. I suppose we're going back. T <laughs> we're going to have to backtrack our way to. <laughs> Can't talk. I suppose we are going to have to backtrack our way back to Motherbound. What a cheap way to pad things out. I agree, Dem. The crystals begin to glow. They teleport you back to Motherbound. How convenient. Alright, so I'm not going back there. There's some battles in the sewer that I did not do, but who cares. And we are now back in Motherbound. So what we have to do next is go west and onto the next area of the game. Where in the hell is the inn? <sighs> um, but yes, that is going to be next time. That is going to be it for this time. So... In this episode, I believe all we did was finish Lang Song and get the crystals, but that was pretty good. In the next episode, we are going to move on west of Motherbound. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.